Hey, Ames Middle School 6th grade band students, I want to show you what we can learn from the first three things in any line of music or any piece of music. First of all, um, we have our clef. You may play from the G clef or the F clef. From these, what we learn here is we learn from this where G is. This wraps around the second line, so we know that this is G. Down here, this highlights the fourth line of the staff, and we know that this is F because this is the F clef. So G shows us where G is, the G clef shows us where G is, the F clef shows us where F is. That's the first thing that we learn in any piece of music. From there, we have an area in here that may have some different symbols in it. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of different possibilities. Let's say we have this, which is a flat symbol right here, okay? And then we typically have some numbers something like that, okay? I'm going to move this same flat symbol down here and the same set of numbers there. So after our clef, we have what is called the key signature, the key signature. And this gives us a key or kind of a code that we used to read some of the pitches in the rest of the music. So here we have a flat symbol, and it's on the third line. From here we can figure out G, A, B. So it's a flat symbol on the B line. What we learn from this symbol, and it's the same flat down here, F, E, D, C, B. B flat here, B flat here. What we learn is that all Bs are flat, and every other note is natural. So according to this, every B will be played flat. Everything else will be natural. So not just B's here, but it could be B's below the staff or B's above the staff, same down here. All, all B's will be flat. All the other notes will be natural. And this is from our key signature. Let me show you another example. This is a sharp symbol, okay, and down here as well. Down here, we see it right across the F clef line. So uh, let's double check this up here, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and here it's also on the F line. This tells us that all Fs are sharp. Everything else will be natural. So all the Fs will be sharp, everything else will be natural. So the Fs up here, as well as here, the Fs here as well as low or any F is going to be sharp, everything else will be natural. That is our key signature. Then we have this set of numbers, and this is called the time signature. The main thing that we're going to learn from this is how many beats per measure. And for that, we're going to look at the top number. The top number will tell us how many beats will be in each measure of the music. And here we see it's four. The bottom number, we will talk about more later on. But for now, we're going to look at this top number and know that it tells us the number of beats in a measure. It might be four, it might be three, it might be two, it might be something completely different. But that will tell us how many beats per measure. So from these three things, we learn what note is where on the staff. We know if anything is going to be sharp or flat from our key signature. And we know how many beats in a measure.